I need to reveal the startling reality about the state of modern men today. I just want to give you guys a disclaimer because I'm speaking off the cuff today. I don't have any notes. So this could be a rant. This could be a horrible video. This could be a very informative video. I don't know where it's going, but I do know we need to talk about this because as I look out into the climate, into the world today, most of the things that are going wrong are the results of how weak men, modern men have become. Some of it is your fault. Some of it is not your fault. The men before you were already hitting down the trajectory of declining. But still, you're a man. You have the ability to right the ship. But nobody's riding the ship at this point. And that's the disturbing part that we need to get into today. I know you guys see my other videos about Tyson Foods, the American dream, uh, how the economy is, is hurting dating. Let me get this off real fast before I forget. Partially, we talk about the 80-20 rule going into the 90-10 rule. Well, the reason why that is, guys, is because a lot of you guys just don't care about your appearance. You don't really care about going out and being, you know, deemed respectable by women. They're not all the way wrong when they complain about men in that way. Because a lot of men, you, you don't want to do anything. You just want to sit in the house, play video games, eat chips and pizza and be overweight. That's never been attractive to women out of thousands of years of, uh, rep excuse me, human evolution. But let me get back into my other point. You look at Tyson Foods. They're literally talking. They're literally laid off Americans on purpose to hire migrants. Why aren't the men, the American men, outraged at that? They're giving migrants Second uh, Amendment rights. Why aren't you guys outraged at that? There is a video recently going around where there was an immigrant talking about how easy it is to take people's homes through squatter rights. You can literally go into somebody's house because it's not because they left their house. It's not occupied. Somebody can break into their house and claim it's their house because and claim squatters rights and then take the house from the other person. Why aren't you outraged at that? Why aren't you outraged at how delusional and stupid women are acting right now? They're not, at this point, the majority of women, I'm not even going to put a percentage on it. I'm just going to say it's over 50% are not marriage material. But you're still going out and dealing with these women. Why aren't you holding the line? Because if men were on the same code, we could correct this stuff rather quickly. <clears throat> All these things are contributing to the American society declining and being no more. And it seems, and from my outlook and observations of the society today, modern men don't have the appetite they don't care or they're too weak to hold the line to actually making a big change. I'm going to reveal something that is going to be a harsh reality about being a man, but it is what it is. As a man, you have to, you have to listen to the truth. You have to know the truth. 
Because if you don't, you will be punished for not knowing the truth. You're not a woman or you can be delusional and lie to yourself all damn day and still have a decent life. So, but before I get into that, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. <clears throat> Everything has a cost, guys. You, you've heard me talk about this before. Everything has a cost in life. But there's one cost you're not willing to make. Nothing has ever been free. To make real change, oftentimes there has to be bloodshed. And that's the problem. Modern men are afraid to put boundaries up and believe in something with all their heart that they're willing to sacrifice themselves and their lives for. That's one of the biggest problems we have today. And it's ironic because if you look at the men of the past, the only thing they were afraid of was dying an inhonorable death, an unhonorable death. That's the only thing they were worried about. They knew death was inevitable. So why not be a man? Take on the hardships of being a man. And deal with. It. <clears throat> now that, that doesn't mean I'm trying to make you guys in the stoic. Um, tough guys all the time there's times when you can be vulnerable but in all honesty you need to be vulnerable in private around yourself or around one or two people that you can absolutely trust with that vulnerable side Change needs to occur on multiple levels in the society today. But modern men don't have the appetite to put their words into actions. I'm going to give you this last gem. The internet today is so worried about debates and who won. Debates don't change a damn thing. Debates are only for people that are on the fence. If you're on the left or you're on the right, you know what the hell you're going to pick before you even decide who the candidates are. Debating doesn't change anything. Arguments. Action. Action is what changes things. We can talk a good game all day. We can break down how men and women are doing this, how the society is doing this, how immigrants are doing this. But until you put words behind action or action behind words, you'll never see a change. We're just mentally masturbating over the issue. So that's it for this video. The weakness of men is ultimately why we are in the state of where we are today. And it's not entirely all millennial and Gen Z men, but you're the results of the men, the two generations before you being soft. Generation X was the last generation that was actually strong. Baby boomers. There's a whole book explaining how they screwed up America. But even them, 
they had some very masculine tendencies that even Gen Z and millennial men don't have. So that's my video. This was a harsh one. Hopefully you guys could stomach it. But like, comment, subscribe, share the video, like the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.